Hey guys, it's Andy, aka Elegy. Last time we uh, began our journey on the uh, Crown Tundra, uh, an area brimming with snow and very cool Pokemon. I really like the area, but we are now in an area that I don't think I will like very much, but it does have a very interesting premise that uh, I'm excited to explore. So today we're going to uh, check out the, uh, I forget the name already, uh, what is it called? Slippery? That's not it. What's what's this place called? Max Lair. It seems like a very generic name, but uh, let's. Uh, probably not a good idea to head there in the alone. Let's turn back for now. Uh, what do I do? If you go on a Dynamax, I'll provide you with a Dynite Ore as a reward. One Dynite Ore for completing this. And as we saw last time, it costs 200 for an ab ability, whatever. Maybe it increases statistically like it does with the battle points you win in the battle tower. I don't know, but still, that's ridiculous. I'll also allow you to keep one of the Pokemon you catch. Uh, so we can only keep one Pokemon we catch. Okay. Would you like to embark? I mean, sure. Does it cost anything? I mean, yeah, let's save. You're still new, so we suggest trying them alone. Just to get familiar before you invite some friends. Okay. Oh, we're not inviting the others. Okay, so... I gotta select... Oh, I only have 15 seconds to decide. Um... Uh, let's go with this quillfish. Uh... Okay. <laughs> uh, Alright, so that's, that's what we got. Um, okay, oh, okay, okay, this is a very, hmm, there's a strong water type, so we gotta, um, looks, oh, we have a time limit for how we gotta move, too, okay, so we're, we're going to steal, and then we'll move up and try to get that grass mon so we can, uh, defeat the uh, water mon at the end, okay. Is this going to be time two? Like, good lord, Klefki appeared. Alright, Quillfish. Intimidate that Klefki, yeah. Alright. Doesn't seem to be a time limit now. I guess I'll Dynamax and Max Geyser. Just to see, uh, see what goes down. Probably gonna do 5%. <laughs> but, uh, I wonder if this will... If this is like the strong Max Den Mons that have the automatic barriers that come up once they hit 50% health. Or if this is like the weaker in-game ones. Light screen? Okay. <laughs> Togi Den Mons used Iron Head. Okay, this looks like a weak one. Maybe not. Max guys are doing about the same as Iron Head. That's a little frightening. But now it should do more because the rain is up. Sweet kiss. Avoid it, of course. Greeting SD and out here. Okay. Well, guys are again. And apparently I do not have swift swims, so that, uh, we'll find out here if that's the barriers. No, it does not. Okay. If it had the barriers, it would have stopped dead at 50% but okay max starfall do nothing to big body wiggly wiggly boogly <laughs> it's not jiggly boogly it's wiggly boogly okay sweet kiss oh and the misty terrain is up so we can't be put <laughs> bro, bro greedin just <laughs> dancing out here all right but one more geyser should do it Bye bye Klefki. I will not be taking this thing. Or or should I? Throw a Pokeball now? Do we have to? Um Yeah, I'm keeping I'm keeping uh Quillfish. I I don't need Klefki. <laughs> okay, so I guess Freya took the Klefki. Okay, um should we go poison or flying? I will go flying, that way we can uh, have an advantage versus that grass. Why is why is she right there? 
Oh, what happened? I wasn't even... Something about eating berries. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, but now we're at uh, flying. Oh, are you serious? Why is it also electric? Okay, um... Oh, and now I cannot Dynamax. Huh, that's... Very concerning. Alright, um... Okay, well... Clef key light screening. Electro web. That nearly... To it KO'd me after the light screen. I don't know about this one. I didn't know I wouldn't be able to uh, Dynamax again. That's a little... Like, I'm not used to that at all. Maybe yeah, Liquidation doing damage, though. Bro, you're never landing this sweet kiss. Please stop. Freya can Dynamax. I guess we'll just keep doing this till we die. Which is going to be right now. Oh no, he attacked the Clefable instead. Why did I say Clefable? It's clearly Wiggly Boogly. Nuzzle again. Liquidation again. Okay, he's at half health. We can maybe do this, boys. Okay, we can definitely do this. Stop going for Sweet Kiss, please. Does it not... I don't think it restored my PP from the last fight either. What happened? Does it not heal me? Rising Voltage. Dead. Deader than a doornail. Does that kick me out instantly? Not instantly. But I don't know if these guys are getting through this round. Because he's probably going to watch him call it again. Oh! Okay, we knocked out the Emolga. And it looks like I'll be catching this one because my Quillfish just died, so, uh... Um... We'll do this. I don't think I've ever had one of these not catch, so if this doesn't, I'm going to be pretty upset. But, uh... Well, we're here to learn. Looks like we got it, so that's good. I want to swap Pokemon. Uh, yeah, it does not heal you after each fight. That is really random. Oh boy, I don't even know what to do now. Uh, I guess we'll take on the Grassmon. Oh, and you have four hearts up at the top. I guess that means after you faint four times, it kicks you out. This is kind of crazy. And after all this, it only gives you one... <laughs> Dynite ore? Like, really? Like, this is crazy crazy. So if I don't Dynamax here, is it going to take away my ability to Dynamax? I don't think I need to Dynamax versus this Maractus. Okay, I definitely needed to. That does nothing. And we got Jab out here. Crit does about as much as I, uh, whatchamacallit. Why are you attacking me? Bro, why on the planet did that do so much damage? You know that that's not very effective, right? Did you actually land a sweet kiss? Okay, but now we'll find out if it'll let me Dynamax. Nope. So you have no reason to not Dynamax when you're able to because, yeah, I, I really don't know how I feel about all this. Hmm. Will I die now if this doesn't kill? Poison isn't going to matter, because I think I'm going to die to max overgrowth again. Because the terrain is up. 
All we attacked Wiggly Boogly, never mind. But why is Maractus so strong? I mean, I'm, not, I'm all about Maractus, but... But does that take away my hearts, too, when their Pokemon faint? If so, that is really ridiculous. Um, do I need Maractus? Yeah, I'm catching Maractus, bro. Like, you see how strong that thing is? I need Maractus. I don't want any chance of, uh, beating, uh, the Watermon at the end. Which I, I don't know if I will or not. Like, this is really, like, the amount of obstacles they put in your way seems, like, very, very challenging. And I will definitely swap that. Because Amolga is, is very weakened, but it didn't look like it had limited health. Okay, here we are. Maractus, it's time. <laughs> Let's do this. Who we fighting, boys? Don't be Tentacruel or Toxapex. Oh, sweet! <laughs> sweet Coon pulling up! Oh no. It's gonna have Ice Beam, isn't it? And I still can't Dynamax, what? That's a problem. Okay. Well, thanks for the light screen, Plefki. Poison Jab doing nothing. Why did you Poison Jab and not Electric Attack, bro? Why did you Extra Sensory the Steel type? I'm so confused. Anyway, get Energy Balled. Sweet Kiss. We're landing sweet kisses, so that's at least something. I doubt it'll ever uh, come into effect, but it's cool, at least. Uh, well, Energy Ball again, then Dynamax, and then we'll uh, Leaf Storm. Uh, ooh, hit himself. Nice. That does absolutely no damage. Well, Dazzling Gleam. Okay, Cliff keep paralyzed rip. Now we can Dynamax. Alright, Maractus, it is time. Max overgrowth, this bad boy. Alright, this is getting a little hype now. We are we are not we are not team Dynamax out here, but this this is hype right here. Dynamax, Maractus. Taking on Suicune out here. This, this is it. We are about this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Marak. This It's your time to shine. Poison jab. Suicune confused. Ooh. Tough break, Suicune. Now catch this overgrowth. <laughs> that did nothing. Does Suicune have the barrier? I feel like that should have done way more. No barrier, but now its attacks are getting more aggressive. But I think we have enough hearts left. Because I'll definitely KO him this next turn with Overgrowth. Oh, it's got pressure? Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're knocking him out. Still confused. Oh, <laughs> back to extra century. That's not doing anything, Suicune. Get overgrowth. Wait, well, he's attacking again. Oh, there, he hurt himself again. Oh, tough break, Suicune. <laughs> Get overgrowth. Oh, that still didn't kill, bro. Dazzling Gleam. Okay, we did it. <laughs> Wiggly Boogly, the true hero out here. Throw a Pokeball now. Will I catch it? I'm gonna try a Pokeball just to see if this can fail. If I catch it, that'll be crazy. Just a free Suicune. Come on. One, two. Suicune, come on. Three. Suicune. Hey, we did it. <laughs> Suicune was caught. She's one of the Pokemon you like to keep. I don't, Maractus, you were incredible, but I gotta go with, gotta, gotta go with this Suicune. You handed the, your random Pokemon, Pokemon you didn't select. Oh, I get nine Dynite ore? 
Why? Reached the innermost area, caught a very special Pokemon. Huh. Okay. Would you like to give... <laughs> That's crazy. I just have a Suicune. Do I want to add him to the team? That would be hilarious. Just putting... A... Oh, let's, let's check him out. What level? Level 70. That's like on par with the rest of my team. I don't have a Watermon. I don't know what Dynamax level means. Ooh, it knows uh, the event moves. E-Speed and the Extra Sensory. I didn't know how they were going to implement that. Like, I knew I knew they uh, gave all the dogs their uh, their event moves, like uh, E-Speed, uh, Flare Blitz, and stuff. But I, I didn't know if they were, were level up moves or whatever. But apparently they're, you get them in the raid or whatever. <laughs> okay. We'll send uh, Sweek into the box in that case. Now what's gonna happen? Where are we? Oh, Nia, hi. Hang on, I recognize you. Here for a Dynamax Adventure 2? Wicked! Guess we're on the same wavelength. I'm Peonia. Oh, your name is Peonia, not Nia. Okay, nice to properly meet you. What about you? What's your name? Elogi. Watcher. What? <laughs> what? What does this mean, Watcher? Uh, I'm Elegy. What a perfect name for you, thanks. <laughs> really suits you. My dad's on his way here too? I haven't seen him. Has he got turned around and wound up back at the entrance? I don't know, he was supposed to come with me, but apparently that didn't happen. Sorry for using you to distract him. He's stubborn as a mudbray, things go alright after I left. What? You beat my old man. You sure pulled a blinder there. <laughs> Still with the lingo I don't understand. He used to be a gym leader, you know. Even on holidays, no pushover. You know, my dad was going mad with excitement for this trip. He kept going on about how he planned for us to check out local legends on a super intensive adventure. A girl my age would be caught dead doing some naff thing like that with her dad. How old are you, Peonia? What, what's that have to do with... <sighs> really fancy having more battles with Dynamax Mons. Thrill of battling. Think I'm out, gets me pumped. You know what? I've just had a thought. You're a pretty fierce trainer, right? Well, yeah. Bet you could handle taking my place on my old man's adventure. He wants to spend time with you, Peonia. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't feel right doing this, but I don't think... I don't think we're supposed to say no. Brilliant idea if I say so. It'd be a shame to just leave him on its own. And end up running into a legendary. How about I meet back up with you two after I've had my own fun? Okay. As long as you spend time with your dad, Mia. Like that's that's why he brought you here. Please don't abandon him after that. Go on and enjoy your twosome tour of legends. Tell my old man the deal. So we gotta break the news to Peon, or whatever his name is, I forget already. Oi. He got knocked out, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Peony, you good? Poor gentleman's been injured. Oh no, I brought him back here. Peony! Uh, it hurts. Ultra <laughs> mega hurts. Where's Mia? Are you alright? On gentleman appears. Hit a rock? Oh. Ventures aren't to be taken lightly. Just checking to see she's behind some rocks. Look how I've ended up. Bro, he is <laughs> he has seen better days. Behind some rocks? It's your daughter Roly Coley. Oh, he's back. I'm up. No little bump's gonna keep me down. Did you find my darling? I did, but you don't say. Staying away until she's at her fill. She wants us to go get cracking. I burned the candle both ends. Best itinerary I could for dear Nia's sake. She's at that age where she doesn't want her old man tagging along. Trying to press her into doing what I want to do won't win me any, di any doubt of the year. I still feel bad for Peony. What's your name? 
Elogi. Cheers, Elogi. My name is Piani. Wait, I already told you. Gaha. Twice this hat. Nice to meet you. Oh, we get Piani's lead card. Okay. Let's have ourselves a smash and adventure. Uh, let's. No, Ultra Mega Great Response. Gonna have ourselves a real treat of legendary hunt. No. Get yourself to Freezington. It's a town just a short ways off. I, I mean, I've been there already. Time for a strategic planning. Fill you in on the details. Let us reconvene post haste. Just pulling your leg. Can you imagine if I actually talked like that? It would make more sense than the lingo you're throwing around right now. I'll tell you that right now. Gahahaha. Alright, so uh, I guess it's time to go back to Raw, whatever. I forget the name of the town already. Oop, another cutscene. Where are you going, bro? <laughs> Is this really necessary? Oh, that area. Okay. I know where that is. Alright, Peony. Where are you at? Have I not been here? Like, why are these open? Or, or is it after midnight? It might be after midnight and they just refilled. Okay. Anyway, I don't see any uh, footprints on the ground. That's what I'm looking for, because I'm trying to find these legendaries. Alright, we're back to Freezington. Hello, hello. Another visitor? Who's this? Oh, you're the mayor. I tried to get in your house earlier, but <laughs> the game wouldn't let me. Must say, it's a surprise to have visitors. Might you be here to learn about the legend of the King of Bountiful Harvests as well? Not particularly, but uh, I guess so. Never mind. Hardly bears asking. Very little otherwise to attract visitors. It's a shame, really. Come all this way to investigate what turns out to be a fairy tale? I don't know, bro. <laughs> if it's in the game, I'm betting it, it isn't no fairy tale. Since you made the journey, I must offer you specialty as a memento. What's this? Boat neck sweatshirt. <laughs> a shirt emblazoned with the likeness of the King of Bountiful Harvest. Hasn't sold quite as well as we hoped. We got a fair number left. Rip. The illustration vests on extremely ancient accounts of the King's appearance. And is unusually sized. Is that the logo that was on Peony's hat? Thought it might make the design more hip. To see what the King really looked like, I suggest you look at the statue by the... Field. I already looked at that, bro, like five times. By the way, since you're here, feel free to let your lead Pokemon out. Okay, so now the front of the our team will follow me. Peony! Hi. <laughs> yeah, is that the thing on the, the shirt the guy gave us? I don't know. Where's he going? I think that's the, the place I went in to heal. Oh, Sir Fetch, hey. You gonna pull up? Oh yeah, he pulling up. Look at him. <laughs> okay, spiel. Uh, Alright, which building was it? I better click the statue again and it might say something different. Nope. Feels as if something is missing. What's missing? Sir Fetch, what is up with this statue? Do you know? Sir Fetch. Got any comment on the statue? Nope. <laughs> Alright. Well, we better go inside. See, oh, there's an item. I don't know how I missed this earlier. Wishing piece. Okay. Let's get back in uh, this house, which I'm guessing is uh, that place. Here you are. And yep, there's the changing room and Pokemon healing place. What is that on the table? But as far as this moment, our base camp. Not much of a base camp. Bro, this is pretty cool. Got a proper air of importance. Enough faffing about. Let me tell you about the exploration. Let me tell you about what the Peony Exploration team is after. A few strange, mysterious legends. For example, 
A huge headed Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. Oh, that's a Pokemon? Okay. Not to mention a massive red tree where legendary flying Pokemon gather. The birds? And furthermore, the great hulking dot faced giants. Okay, that's the Reggies. Etc. This place is just bursting with juicy legends. We're not stopping until we found how much we truly got to. So, this area's just, like, got tons of legendaries. For no reason. And that is our grand, noble, magnificent goal. What is that on the table? Why do they keep focusing on it? Be doing this with my darling aunt. Bro, don't cry. Who knows? They say even chancy meetings can lead to blissful friendships. Here's to the Grand Adventure Expedition, Chief. I'm the Chief now. Chief? Obviously. What do you think would happen if the two of us went gallivanting off together? Nia could come along for a grand emotional reunion and find this place empty. Just talking about my own darn sitting alone in this room. <laughs> Not on my happen. Not on my watch. I never. Bro, I am so tired. I can't even read. I'm mean, holding down the fort, Chief. So I'm the Chief, so. I'm basically doing everything by myself, which is fine. You get the pleasure of being the expedition chief. What's he giving me? The uniform. So we got two uniforms already. Bro, I don't need to wear this. I mean, <laughs> the mon is kind of funny. Look at that. Fits you like a glove. Spare uniforms. Okay. If you ever need to change, by all means, head in yeah, we, we already established that. Got some different colored scarves. I mean, I want to see what the outfit the mayor gave me. Legendary Clue 1. What is this? Clue about the King of Bountiful Harvest. Written by a peony and an old photo attached to it. Uh, there's the statue. The king is said to wear a massive crown. Oh! Okay, that's the mon with the Triforces on it. The upside down Triforces. And it looks like... It because the statue was missing that thing on its head. That's that's the thing on the table, is it not? But the wooden statue near the fields in the middle shows no signs of a crown. It's definitely that thing sitting on the table. Legendary clue number two. The Legend of Giants. Okay, there's that uh, Reggie building that uh, we couldn't access. Temple's door are strange words. Let the blank 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 mon <laughs> Chang <laughs> one. The door remains firmly shut. Sunken on the side of snow slide slope plus <laughs> a temple. Okay. So this, this is uh, Reggie Ice maybe? Why is it green? Worn together, Iving style of snow. Door remains shut. Uh, let out, note, wait, iron, heel. That looks like Regis Steel. When three doors fall, be opened. When the three. D I don't know what that says. It looks like that's Reggie, Drago, and Alecky. Steel. Ice. That must be rock. Let the... How are you supposed to read these? Uh, okay, here's legendary clue number three. This must be about the birds. Yep. That's a unique drawing. Okay, there's a red tree that uh, he spoke of. When the sun reaches its zenith, it shines directly down upon a giant tree with leaves that seem to burn. Okay. I haven't found the tree yet. Legendary clues. Okay. Telly watching. I don't know if I believe that then. Why don't I have a look at the clue about the King of Bountiful Harvest? Seems like the king bonds with its loyal steed, or whatever you call it. Run proper deep. <laughs> so if I had to name this expedition, I'd call it... The Sacred Bonds of Sovereign and Steed. That was a crazy effect. <laughs> There's a great big statue of it bang in the... Bro, I've seen that statue 30 times. And that, that thing on the table that you keep <laughs> putting in the foreground is definitely part of its head. 
Do you want to change back to you? Yes. Thank you. All set. Time to investigate the legend. Had an idea. Here's something to help you out. What's this? Oh, a free Master Ball. Okay. It's supposed to be one Ultra Mega Corker of a ball. Use it whenever you ought to. Got it ages ago from somebody I used to know. Who that? Never could bring myself to use it though. Relatable. If you ever get a bit turned around, come back to base camp anytime. Can't miss it. Just look for Adventure Crew flag I stuck out front. And that's that. Grand Adventure. Okay. I'll pan out to the, uh, this thing. My pillow's caught your eye. Bro, that's your pillow? Your pillow? <laughs> I've got some wisdom to impart. If you can put your head on it and have a kip, it's a pillow. Fortunately, I went and left my favorite pillow at home. Uh, found it back behind the inn. Can I have it? <laughs> Come off it! You want me to hand over my Alter Mega Comfy Pillow? It's asking a lot, even coming from you, Chief. <laughs> What's that? I think my pillow's got something to do with legendary Pokemon. This is some old thing I found. If you really want it, who am I to refuse? Alright, go on, have it. Better make sure you track that legend down. Alright. Wonder what all I'll have to do upon taking the wooden crown. Okay. Part of it seems to be chipped. Maybe it's meant to be part of something. Now, I wonder... Change my arm band. Would you like to swap arm bands on your expedition jacket? Sure. Um. <laughs> Let's go water. Did you like to change into your expedition uniform? No. Do you want to reprint? No. Hmm. What, uh, what all do we have? What, what is this? Oh, okay. So the expedition jacket is the orange thing he just gave me. Still wearing the dojo bag. Still the best bag. Well, I guess that's that. I'll try putting the, uh, oh, another cutscene already. I swear if this shows me the statue. Oh, there's the tree. Don't know how I missed it. There's that building. There's something that they didn't mention. <laughs> Alright. Yep, there, there's the pan to the statue. I knew it would happen. Alright, Sir Fetch, let's go. Statue of Pokemon, something's missing. Wanna try fitting it on? Yes. Russell, Russell, swunk. Fits perfectly. Crown. Is it alive? Oh shit. Dog. <laughs> Why does it look like that? Does it want you to follow it? Well, I guess. I guess we're following it. I better save the game. I don't know what's about to happen here. Are we fighting right now? Crown. Crown. Seems the Mysterious wants to test your strength. Do you want to ready a Pokeball? Yeah. Crown. Is he... Was that... Does that mean no? Like I'm not allowed to catch him? Or... Like what... What did that mean? Why'd he do that? Is <laughs> he just saying hi? Um... Crown. He has unnerve. I think this thing is psychic type. I'm gonna try a uh, first impression. 
And not good. <laughs> I didn't know it was that frail, bro. <laughs> crown, crown, crown. Who are you? Did you have fun? Why did it ask me if I wanted to ready a... Oh, I guess just battling. Who are you? Crown, crown, crown. When it said ready a Pokeball, I, I meant... I thought it meant, like, to catch. Crown, 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 re-crown. Hmm. Boy, what's up? Heard a big ruckus. Or I just used first impression. That's all that happened. You're having a Pokemon battle? Huh? A massive noggin? Crown. <laughs> Come back. Oh, what's this? Yeah. Me. Dog, what, what's going on? Why is he floating? Ah yes, a sturdy body, just as I expected. I hope he doesn't mind that I make use of it for the time being. Why is there a question mark after his name? Are you talking through Peony? Are you the Pokemon? Oh, I see you've grasped the situation already. Very astute of you. I'm Cal... Calyrex. The king of the bountiful harvest. Alright, bro. I've borrowed this man's body in order to speak. Okay. There are no words to adequately express my gratitude for restoring my statue. In days long past, I reigned over these lands as king. Alright. Humans offered me their loyalty, and I was able to bring lush vegetation to the land, and give plentiful harvest year after year. Seems many, many years people have forgotten my existence. How? He used to make offerings to me every year, but even that tradition has been lost. The faith of the people that grants me strength. Like uh, Elder Scrolls, where uh, uh, the deities gain their strength by pe people believing in them. So that's kind of kind of cool how it all uh, connects. Now I have lost all but a fraction of my former power. Even my little steed has abandoned me. No! So I guess we gotta find the horse, probably. However, you were kind enough to restore my statue. That act has re returned some strength to me. At least enough to speak by borrowing the body of another. Now, kind-hearted human child, I have a favor to ask. Do we gotta find your horse, bro? Just know once and for all whether the people have truly forgotten about me. Wish you to speak to the village and ask if they remember the King of Bountiful Harvest. I'm trying to ask him myself, you understand. But they treated me like some sort of fairy tale creature or flew into a mild panic at the sight of me? Uh the the latter doesn't even the form like how <laughs> if they saw you, I mean, isn't that enough? Please, kind hearted human, I beg of you to help. Alright. You jotted down the current status on legendary clue one. What what did I jot down? Oh we Wrote in the name Calyrex. Okay. Now we gotta talk to the town. Come on, Sir Fetch. Does this change anything? Nope. Okay. Alright, where are the townspeople at? Here's one. There, this, this guy's new. Who are you? Oh, just, uh, just someone selling stuff. Okay. You wanna trade? No. Seeds aren't growing anywhere. Come back if you... Look at Surfetch! <laughs> Surfetch, come here! Okay. So I guess that's not who I'm supposed to talk to. Maybe you? I'm rather busy doing nothing right now. Alright. Spiel. <laughs> uh, Spiel, what to do? Are you of any help? King of Bountiful Harvest? exists, why doesn't it heal the land so we can grow crops? Hmm. More energy roots. Alright, uh, you two, maybe. King of Battle Harvest? I used to believe it was real. I was told that if I made mischief in the fields, the king would steal my body away. Pokemon King? 
Oh, sure, my granny used to tell me stories about it when I was a kid. An old fairy tale, that. Alright, now he got the mayor. Do I remember the King of Battle Forest? Of course. It's the only main tourist attraction to Freezington. Imagine we would see more visitors if only the king were real. You asked? Okay, time to report back to Calyrex. Alright, let's do this. Man, my nose is itchy. Look at him. He hasn't moved. Alright, Calyrex. How do we... Floating in the air and glowing. Okay. I meant to talk to you. Ah, human shot. I trust you were able to speak to the villagers. Did they say anything about me? They did, but... Just as I suspected, nobody believes that I'm real. Seems the people have forgotten the bond they once shared with me. Of course, I'm not grieving. I'm the king of Battle of Harvest, after all. I know better than to count on humans to remember me. Who's the under doubt that I cannot rely on human faith if I want my powers to return? If only my loyal steed were to return to me, I'd regain some of what I've lost. Your loyal steed? Yes, the four-legged Pokemon that I used to ride all across the land. Who that? The very same Pokemon that my statue in the village shows me riding. Okay. <laughs> Does it actually look like that? That's hilarious. Alas, in ancient times we spent many days together, dashing through the valleys and over the mountains. My power waned, and I was forced to part ways with it. No, now I know not where it may be. Even if we succeed in locating my loyal steed, I have my doubts whether it has remained, well, loyal. I've lost so much power. Perhaps the villagers know something about my steed. Be in your debt to speak. Okay. Alright, we'll ask about the steed. Oh, Peony's back. Guys? Chief, massive noggin. Oh wait, it's normal. Must have fallen asleep where I stood. Sorry about that. I feel strange. The body's not quite my own. Guess I'll head back to base and get some rest. You do that, Peony. Now how am I gonna talk to... Calyrex? If, uh... If I can't use... What's his name? To talk. Okay. Do you know anything about a steed? Choop choop. I didn't mean to talk to you, Swobbly. Little steed? Bro, why do my nose so itchy? As the king's oil steed, I was told that it had a wondrous fur coat white as untouched snow. Okay, what about you? Had a beautiful fur coat that was dark as night. Uh, do you say anything? Little steed, yes. Once a belligerent ruffian that would ruin all our harvests. Doesn't it sound like something I'd get along with? Hmm. And now, talk to the mayor, but the mayor's not home. Went to have a look at the fields in the giant's bed. That's random. You can go look for him if you're in a hurry. Giant fields, okay. Let's go through and keep... Okay, I've been there. Though I don't remember that uh, tree in the distance. Alright, we'll go for a bit longer before uh, calling it quits. Because uh, I'm just trying to... Trying to find the way out. Maybe. Okay, here we go. Is this it? Uh, where's the tree? There's the tree. How did I miss that tree? <laughs> I guess I was looking on the ground for items that I missed anyway, or maybe I haven't even been here. Revival Herb, yeah, this really reminds me of Breath of the Wild. Like this, this reminds me of one of the places in, uh, out in Hyrule Field. Just random, uh, areas like, Nidoran, no! This, get the, there we go. 10% of the data, okay. There's a den, and there's a mon. Okay, there's that. Uh, who dis? It stopped me. Oh, is this the mayor? Oh, yeah. Alas, this field is no good either. Soil is barren. No crop can possibly grow here now. Perhaps the land truly are beyond hope. What's this? Oh, dear visitor, what brings you here? Yes. <laughs> You're here to learn about the loyal steed of the King of Bountiful Harvests? Well, yeah. 
This is hardly a place for storytelling. Come to my home. It's better to have a nice chat in the warmth after all. Please visit whenever you're ready. I'll be waiting. Why did it make me come all the way out here just to go back to... Is there something out here I'm supposed to maybe see? Or is it just telling me to explore maybe? Get some more stuff. 12%. I wonder if the Are these like steed footprints? Like are we going to need... No, because these, they're not, I don't think they're the bird footprints, or the Reggie's. Maybe they're steed footprints? That could tie in with what, uh, well, here's another one. Um... I don't know what, uh, if I'm going to need all these footprints to progress, or if it's just something to collect more legendaries at the end. Hmm. Hi, Frost Eyes. Uh, and I really don't know why it brought me out here. What is that? Oh, Aerodactyl? Okay. Uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, I don't know why it made me come out here, like, just so, to go back to town. Like, there's gotta be something out here that I'm missing. Stone German? Just vibing. Oh no! Well, there's 20%. Um, there's that item. And found a voucher for room sir Oh, this item. Okay. Yeah, I guess there really isn't anything here. Unless it's just telling me to explore, like, in general, this area. Which it could be. I, I don't know, but... I just find it really strange that it told me to come out here and told me to go right back. So, I don't know. I, I think I'm going to end it here because we are at about 50 minutes or so. So, I think I'm going to end it here. And next time, uh, I'll probably continue exploring a little. Maybe I'll explore off screen and uh, just collect some of these uh, footprints. And uh, next time, I'll go back to town and see what uh, the mayor has to say. Uh, I like how these are a lot easier to find than the Diglets were, at least. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, there's Glalie, and, uh, yeah, I think this is a good spot to end it, so thank you guys for watching this episode. Next time on the Crown Thunder playthrough, we will see what uh, the mayor has to say. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you then.